What's up everybody, Nate here. Today, we're modifying the old pintle hitch from the stock FM TV onto the new frame. So I'm gonna try for Thanksgiving to get this thing out and go have some fun out in the dirt. I got some friends going camping, so I'm trying to get everything put together and tidied up enough uh, to get it running and go do some more testing on it before I put the box on. So the box is still over there. Got some skin started on the front. Well, laid up. Anyway, today we are going to put that hitch in. So when we did this frame extension, you can see the old frame. I don't know if you watched the old video, the old frame stops right here. All right? It used to tail down because this was the tractor trailer version. So this frame tailed down like this, came to this point. So the guys cut it here, spread it open, and then created a plate to fill this in and weld this back up. All right, rear sway bar attachment's still here. That didn't change. Rear bumper was here. We're not putting that back on because we're gonna have a rear bumper in the back. And I'm gonna have a pass-through box down here that's gonna handle the mud flaps, all that stuff. So this is basically gonna be unused. So one of the issues that created is this is the old frame. This is the new extension. To get this extension, we put it, took a piece of square tubing, cut it in half, so we had two C-channels. And those C-channels slid right inside the factory tubing. Then we cut all the holes in it we needed. It goes all the way, you can see all the way up to that brace there. Um, we took it pretty far forward and we did tie it into this extra plate that these 1088s have. Um, so this plated section here is tied into this extension. So are the shock towers, so is the sway bar. And then we also bolted it back here. And we do have some supports running there and an extra support in the back. But the old hitch used to slide in just like this. And with this quarter inch material, um, it was too thin. So it actually lined up right with, with this material. We couldn't slide it in the back. So if you've seen the old hitches, they have a piece flat that mount down here through these holes. There's five holes here. And that piece comes over, comes up, and sits up inside of here, um, the top comes over, folds down, and then these five bolt holes here line up with that. So you have these two layers that come over and tie together to this frame to give the hitch some rigidity. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, cut those tabs off up there and then re-weld them in, drill some new holes in the frame on both sides and get that put back together. So um, let's get to cutting. And Jason, no, sorry, Matt is actually gonna help us cut today. He's got the uh, torch and everything all set up. So we'll get to that and see you guys in a minute.
done cutting we marked the holes drilled the holes reamed the holes to fit get them perfectly centered exactly what we wanted so everything's nice and tight and uh, go ahead and slip the hitch in and then I'm gonna bolt some new bolts through there get it all tidied up and that'll be done so enjoy too bad and here we are finished product so pintle is in you can see those tabs here all right maybe maybe not maybe the sides better maybe not I don't know these tabs used to go down those tabs used to tie in right here so here we have five holes here we only have three so we did lose a little bit of material um, we had to cut this off about three inches to clear our cross member here and it's bracing, but this gives rigidity to the frame. I'm not gonna be towing the rated capacity of this machine, if at all, ever. So uh, 12 10.9 grade bolts are plenty uh, for what I'm gonna do. Um, I've also got the two and a half inch hitch mount on there as well as the factory pintle. So hopefully I can use the pintle to pull some guys out of the sand this weekend because it's going to be really soft out there. We haven't any red, had any rain in a while. So um, next up to do is put some lights on this, get that hooked up. I got to finish the air brakes, which I think I got that figured out today. Thank you to a couple guys on Steel Soldiers and the Facebook groups. Uh, one of the guys even video conference called me and helped me sort through all that. So that was super helpful. Um, I gotta get some fittings to get these tanks um, arranged a little better. You know, like this fitting, this isn't gonna work, you know? Like that needs to be spun or changed or put some 90s on or something. So I'm gonna grab some of those fittings to do that. And hopefully tomorrow that will be done, maybe the day after. Um, got the brackets up for the air cleaner up there. So that's ready to go needs to get just plugged in. Um, I do need to move the oil fill hoses around a little bit where I had them. Um, this oil fill for the engine hose is inch and three eighths and it's really hard to find. Um, so what I found was actually pretty thick wall and it was gonna get squished in between the box and here to where it was almost closed. So we're gonna move the fill tube um, over into this side and this is gonna connect up here, putting that one fill tube up here really nice, up by the coolant reservoir. And then the fill tube for the transmission is actually gonna run back here on the headache rack, come up next to the ether canister and have a cap on it right there. So to fill the transmission fluid or add any transmission fluid, I'm gonna to have to tilt the cab, which I don't really mind because it's not that big of a deal. I've got an electric pump, uh, electric hydraulic pump. It just goes up and down real easy. So no big deal on that. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the hitch video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, tell your friends. Um, things start to happen real quick. I also got my washer and dryer here for the inside. Um, got my AC for the cab roof. I have a refrigerator over there. 
uh, shower over there and toilet hiding over here. Just run out of room in the shop. So things are moving pretty quick. It's gonna be a lot of fun and hopefully I get to go driver this weekend. And I also got my four new tires over there too. Um, so thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.